In this video, I'm going to discuss the SIPMath modeler tools from probabilitymanagement.org and our new SIP maker, uh, which creates SIP libraries uh, through traditional Monte Carlo simulation. Uh, this was presented in uh, San Diego at the Catamaran Resort on July 8, uh, 2014. And uh, here we have a live webcam from the lovely Catamaran uh, in the background. Uh, I'm going to start out by uh, showing you how to create a, uh, a dynamic interactive uh, spreadsheet simulation out of a pure Excel file using the SIPMath modeler tools. And then I'm going to describe how the SIP maker itself created that SIP library. So here we have a deterministic uh, Excel model. It's a little portfolio model. We've got returns uh, of various assets. These are the average returns in these cells. Here are the weights in our portfolio. Um, these are just numbers, except for this top one, which is 1 minus the sum of the rest, to make sure that the portfolio sums to 100%. And then, if I zoom out a little bit, uh, we see uh, that the portfolio value itself is the sum product of the returns and the weights. It's just a deterministic model. Uh, there's really uh, nothing much going on with this, but we're going to turn it into an interactive simulation. And we're going to do that with the SIPMath modeler tools. Now, the interactive simulation runs using nothing but the data table, and you can do this by hand. The modeler tools just help facilitate the process. Um, so here are the uh, commands for the modeler tools, uh, basically initialize, define inputs, and define outputs. And uh, Again, uh, the model does not require the tools to run. The tools are the goose that lays the golden egg. So once the model is built, it, it'll run fine on its own. Uh, the first step is to initialize. And uh, initialize wants you to tell it the library you're going to use. In this case, I'm going to browse um, and uh, pick up the file called SIP library. So this SIP library was created using the SIP maker, which I'll show you uh, later in this video. When I click OK, there is the uh, SIP library file. It's got four columns of representing the four SIPs for domestic, hedge fund, foreign, and so on. The, uh, any statistical relationships between these is preserved, of course. So really, these SIPs make a slurp. Uh, let's look at the metadata. The metadata tells me uh, that there were 10,000 trials. Uh, the provenance says, uh, I'm repeating what I did in San Diego, uh, therefore, you know, what happened in San Diego apparently did not stay in San Diego. Uh, I've got some other metadata on this side. Now, we go back to the model itself, and during initialization, it created a new sheet called the PM table sheet, which... Uh, is where the data table simulation is going to take place. This is sort of like laying out the jig to put that data table on. And uh, aside from that, we're now ready to go and define inputs. So uh, with the cursor in the first input, I go to define inputs, and I'm going to choose domestic through international funds, click OK. And it puts index statements in here, which are going to index down into the SIPs in the other file. And furthermore, it puts these cute little sparkline uh, histograms in each cell. Uh, that's one of the uh, features of the latest version of the SIPMath modeler tools. Now, the final step is to define the outputs. I put the cursor in the, uh, in the return cell for the portfolio that has the sum product in it. I click define outputs. And I now have to give it a name because uh, when you get to SIP land, uh, all the outputs are arrays, and we have to give them names. So I'm going to give it the name portfolio by clicking on that cell. And then I click OK. And 10,000 trials later, uh, there's the histogram of the portfolio. Now, I can change uh, the portfolio, say, to 20% there. That's 10,000 trials. I can undo that. That's 10,000 trials. Um, and uh, furthermore, the range in the data table 
uh, sheet is now called portfolio. So let's look at the fifth percentile of the portfolio. I can just say equals percentile portfolio 5%. And uh, there we have it. The 10th percentile would be that. And then if I change my portfolio to this, the 10th percentile is that and whatever. Every keystroke is now 10,000 trials. So uh, next, I'm going to show you how we created uh, the SIP library uh, from uh, the SIP maker. So um, this is an Excel SIM model, a traditional Monte Carlo simulation model that we're going to turn into a SIP library. Now, um, I've recently donated the, uh, this Excel SIM uh, simulation engine to probabilitymanagement.org. Uh, this is the engine that is used in my uh, educational software package. And uh, it's a traditional Monte Carlo package like uh, at risk or crystal ball. It's smaller, it's, it's really an educational package, but, um, but it can certainly demonstrate how to create SIPs. Um, it has quite a wide range of probability distributions. And furthermore, everything I'm showing you can easily be done in at risk or crystal ball. And, and in fact, later I'll show you uh, how to do th this exact thing from crystal ball. Um, but to start out with, we're modeling uh, these four assets using Excel SIM formulas. And uh, we have a covariance matrix down here. We have means uh, of the variables over here. Uh, here is the Excel SIM formula. Uh, gen MV normal it generates a multivariate normal based on the covariance matrix and the, uh, the vector of, of mean. So when I press the F9 key, it's creating uh, these multivariate random variables. Now I'm going to start the SIP maker and uh, first step uh, is to add the output cells. So it's those cells. We have to give them names because we're making SIPs out of them. And in this case, we're also adding some, some data provenance. Uh, in, this, in this case, just my initials. Uh, I'm just saying, okay, I did this. And then I'll give provenance to the entire uh, uh, data set, the entire library, I'll call it San Diego. And let's run 10,000 trials, and there it goes. And there's the SIP library. So here are these uh, columns of numbers, 10,000 uh, long. They're named according to the convention where each one has its own range name. Uh, we have metadata on the next sheet. Uh, the provenance says San Diego. The trials are 10,000. Uh, and uh, there's other metadata uh, over here on the, on the right. Uh, so uh, next, uh, I'm going to show you uh, how this can be done with crystal ball. Um, Eric Wainwright, uh, the lead uh, engineer at crystal ball, uh, kindly uh, created some macros so that crystal ball users can create uh, uh, SIP libraries according to the, the probability management standard. And they're just like the library I used here. That means if you're using the SIP math modeler tools, you can access those libraries just as I access this one. So next, we're going to hear uh, from Eric. Hello, I'm Eric Wainwright from Oracle Crystal Ball. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create a SIP library from the results of a Monte Carlo simulation. To start this process, I have a discounted cash flow model already open with a number of forecasts or output cells. There are five forecasts for years one through five of the net income formula. And I have a net present value forecast along with an IRR forecast. Next, I'm going to run a simulation of 1,000 trials using crystal ball. And these are the two distributions for the NPV and the IRR forecast cells. Now, to create a SIP library, I'm going to open a special macro that we've created.
just for this purpose. And this macro will soon be available on the probabilitymanagement.org website. The macro has a ribbon with just one command on it, and I just click this button, and the macro extracts out all the results from the simulation. You can see here there's the trials table from trial one through a thousand. And at the bottom is a statistics table and a percentiles table. At the top is some metadata information that has the number of trials that were run, as well as, as some indexes into the table to extract the uh, key statistics that we want. And at this point, it's very easy to integrate the SIP information into the model of your choice. And I'm going to let Sam continue the presentation from here. Thank you. Uh, so thank you, Eric. Uh, let me tell you that the SIPMath modeler tools uh, are in the members area of our, of our website. Uh, they're available to, to probabilitymanagement.org members. Uh, the SIP maker uh, has not yet been put in the members area, but it's, it's available for beta test. Anyone uh, wants to get a copy, just email me. Uh, the same is true of the crystal ball macros. Anyone who's interested in a copy of those, just email me. I'll get you a copy. And those will eventually all be out on our website uh, so that you can translate from XML to Excel to comma-separated values um, with, with sort of a giant uh, SIP maker that I envision as uh, you know, the grand central station of SIP libraries. Please visit us at www.probabilitymanagement.org to learn more and to support this important nonprofit effort.